I am here with Bettina Lucia from the World Food Program. They feed about 100 million people worldwide, right? That's correct. Yes, uh, we are the largest aid organization in the world. We are in many countries, over 70 countries, uh, and we reach about um, 100 million people every year. And if you translate that to, you know, living here in the United States, where I'm based now, it's almost as if we're helping every third American. So it's a huge you know, reach, we're deep in the field and in some of the most dangerous and difficult places on earth. One thing that I was really curious about was the um, the World Food Day campaign that you're doing. And what really struck me about it was that unlike a lot of nonprofits that I see out there, what they do is they typically say, you know, hey, let's create a cool video or some images around a specific topic. And then we'll put this out there and people will engage with it and they'll share it. And then we'll ask for a donation. Okay. It seems like what you're doing is you're, you're putting a step in between those two actions. You're saying, hey, watch this video, take this quiz. We want you to retain information and then donate and then share. Then the special thing is also just by taking the quiz already, you will help feed a child for a day. Basically, what we're doing is tell the story of this young girl. Her name is Molly. Uh, she lives in a slum in Nairobi. She's an absolutely fascinating young girl. Very, very smart, very hardworking. Uh, we did a Facebook event with her when she and her schoolmates met children halfway around the world in Italy. And it was fascinating to see how these two worlds didn't collide, but perfectly added up. Uh, you had the people, you know, the kids in the in the Roman school and then these the kids in the, in the uh, Nairobi slum school. And it was just amazing to see how these kids interacted. First, there was some there was some hesitancy, and you know they were shy about each other. But then they all discovered that they loved Michael Jackson, and and uh, so this girl um, is f filming her own life, and you can watch that video, and it really shows you how a school meal uh, empowers girls and children, and and what a huge huge difference it makes this combination of a meal at school plus the education how transformative that can be and molly is the perfect example of what we're doing all over the world it's an issue that we know how to fix the solutions are there the knowledge is there of how to fix it so what we need is that people are engaged and that's our goal with it so we are not so much interested in the donation itself, what we want is a community that cares, tells the story, shares the story, and 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 really gets active. That's what we need. The world needs to act more, and, and that's uh, why we're doing this uh, campaign with Molly. Hmm. Okay, so that's specifically why you're actually having people take the quiz. Like, you're really trying to identify the people that are interested in the topic, not just people who clicked on the video and they really didn't even watch it or pay attention. Yeah, I mean, it's the 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 video is so interesting and 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 gives you a glimpse into her life and 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 how she is living and then you know if you just do the quiz i mean how many times can you help feed somebody without you know giving a dime i mean this is this is uh, perfect you can do something without even make a donation you will help already without making a donation if you then want to do the donation on top of that great that's we love that uh, but our big goal is to reach people now molly so she's not a new person to you guys apparently you've you know you did you did this facebook mm -hmm. thing with her now did did you use something like Ustream or some kind of video chat on facebook to yeah, that. it was a live event uh, that was uh, hosted by Cisco, uh, one of our partners that, that is helping us. See, we're, we're often bringing together partners that can help us with their expertise, with their technology. Mm -hmm. Zynga is a very good partner of ours and has helped us in the past. For example, after the Haiti earthquake, you know, Haiti was an incredibly earthquake. You all remember the images of, of the utter devastation. We had hundreds of people on the ground. Most of them were becoming homeless, but they picked up the next day and helped. So we geared up this gigantic aid operations and, and Zynga really helped us pull that through. And that sounds funny first, but we need partners you know, everywhere. We need the ones who give us the trucks and the planes, but we also need the ones who can reach out to a totally new audience. And Farmville, um, you know, helped us. You could buy these high energy biscuits. Uh, that's the special nutritious food that we give in when people cannot cook anymore. These biscuits keep you alive. They've got all the nutrients in the world. And, you know, within a, a few days, uh, one and a half million dollars was raised. Mm. 
uh, it's a way of of spreading the word about winning new friends making you know sure that people um, can actually do something and mm. i think it was a very smart hands-on approach with with um, an audience that might normally not know how to help the united nations help other people it seems like your approach with social media is much more than a marketing communication thing like get our message out and have people retweet it and share it on facebook and all that mm -hmm. it seems like that's probably well it's a reflection of your mission that you've gone way beyond that you really want to keep bring people together, share ideas, mm -hmm. and connect with each other around a mission, and, and also give people who don't have a voice, give them a huge voice. It could be a reflection of your organization culture. It's an interesting new day. It's because you, you, you include new partners that people would normally maybe not you know, first think of. We, for example, reached out to the Hunger Games movie and partnered with the cast of the Hunger Games um, movie. And, you know, first you go like, well, why would you want to do that with a Hollywood movie? And it's, it's, you know, the big challenge that we have is that you and I and uh, have never experienced huge hunger like people do, let's say, in a camp in Darfur. You and I have physically never experienced it. And when we read, for example, the novels uh, about the Hunger Games trilogy, there was a real sense of how people are fighting for survival and, 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 and try to make sure to feed their families. So we partnered with the film and they did a PSA for us and it ran everywhere and people could take a hunger quiz. So out of the movie audience, we got, you know, tens of thousands of new fans who joined our community. And it was such a no-brainer and at the same time so powerful and... And, and interesting to partner, you know, also with Hollywood of, uh, in, in order to reach new, f new friends. Mm -hmm. Did you meet anybody famous? Uh, the f the fans or the f or the <laughs> no? Did the you stars? did you meet anybody famous? Did you? Um... Yes, we you did. did. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we did. We did meet the the stars um, briefly, and they are very engaged and wonderful and lovely. And we can't wait for part two us and and three and four. <laughs> oh, for sure. <laughs> With hopefully much more, you know, exciting things uh, coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. Well, listen. Thank you so much for taking the time to to chat today. And um, thank you so much for having me. It was yeah. wonderful talking. You. Yeah, I feel like I got a lot more than I ever expected from this interview, really. I'm glad. So, thank you for thank you for sharing our story. Oh yeah, you're welcome.